channel, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're here, that's because you've seen the title of this video, and you, this thing you know me. But I ain't even finna do all this talking and stuff, I'm really just finna get right into this video. Y'all, I've been wanting to tell this story for a long time, but I don't know why I was procrastinating. But I'm telling y'all about this mission that I had went on with my friend. So, I'm finna get right into it. So this was in, when was this? It was in August, y'all. And me and my ex at the time, we was going through it like real bad. Like, technically, we wasn't together, but we was together. Like, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm gonna just take it up from where this whole little situation, where this whole little situation started. So, this nigga, it was a Friday. One thing about that boy he was a real deal alcoholic and a, loved the party and all this other shit. So every Friday, every first Friday, every all of that, this bitch was outside. And I knew every time this nigga went outside, this nigga finna try me. I'm finna have to boot up. I'm finna have to wild out. I'm finna have to tweak out. I'm finna have to blame. I'm finna have to show my other side. I'm, I'm already knowing. So this was a Friday. And then I really, really need to pull those messages up. But uh, he went out, of course. And then he wasn't answering his phone, per usual. So I'm like, why the fuck is this nigga not answering his phone? Why he not answering his phone? So you know me. The guy's going to me. Calling, calling, calling. Calling. I'm probably calling this man like, I don't know, maybe like 30 times. I called this man so many times. And he was not answering his phone. And that shit was making me so fucking mad. Because at the time, he, mad, mind you, I didn't have no car at the time because he wrecked my shit. So I didn't have no transportation at the time. And he and he knew that. I feel like that's why he used to go out and just show his ass. Because he knew that I didn't have my shit no more and I couldn't pop up on him. Because he, everybody know what type of time I'd be on. Like, he knew that. So he was not answering his phone, was answering his phone. So me being me, I fucked around and logged into his um, iCloud. And... The reason how I did that is I had already got into his phone. Like, he fell asleep watching TV or some shit. I don't know. And I had got into it. And I had already, like, put my email in it and put my number in it and changed a couple passwords and stuff. But I didn't act on nothing. Like, I didn't, um, I didn't bring nothing up. I didn't change no passwords or nothing. I just had it because I knew that I was going to need it. So, I fucked around and I logged into his iCloud on my iPad. So now I'm like, okay, okay, now I'm in there. So from there, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. So once I logged into his shit, so that means I had his iCloud at me. I was able to see his contacts and see his people and stuff. So once I did that, y'all, that's when I started calling people that I knew that he was with. I started calling his cousins from his email because I knew that his cousin was going to think it was him. So I started doing that, and I'm looking like, he answering the phone thinking it's him. And I'm like, <laughs> So what is nigga yet? Why he not answering the phone? Like I never, y'all, yeah, but I never understood why they really used to like play with me like that. And then when I used to react, everybody swore down and I was wrong and I'm the problem and I'm toxic and I'm this. But it's like, if y'all know how I am, why play in my face? Like, I don't like for people to play in my face. So why play in my face? But I was calling his cousins and shit from his number and they answering and thinking it's him. They like Hey, how you get no real shit? I'm like, nah, fuck all of that. Where that nigga at? Why he not answering his phone? You better tell him to answer this phone. So I'm doing that. They hanging up, whatever. Time go by. And I'm like, fuck this nigga at? So then he finally answers his phone. And I'm like, well, I forget what she say. I think she like, hello, he's sleep or something. Like, just some bullshit. And I'm like, oh, he's sleep. That's how you better wake his ass up. I'm telling you, wake his ass up. And then they just playing and answering the phone. The whole time he not sick because I hit his bitch in the background. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this nigga playing with me. This nigga like real deal playing with me. So I'm like, cool, cool. I do got some messages. Okay, y'all. So, dang. I said, I've been building up screenshots since motherfuckers think I'm just always talking, always got proof. Cause I'm telling you, every Friday, it was some bullshit every Friday, I swear. And I just had, like, multiple screens I did. Because when I used to say it, when I used to say it to him, I used to be like, damn, you don't see that you go missing, you act out every fucking Friday. He's like, I don't even go out every Friday. I don't do this and this every Friday. And I'm like, 
Nigga, yes, you do. So I literally was building up fucking screenshots for the past, like, I don't even want, I mean, I don't even know. I said, and then, and then you telling people you ain't coming to the phone, I don't get you. You act like that every time you go downtown. Then you gonna try to tell people I'm crazy. They just love doing that. Um, what else the fuck I said? I said last Friday you swore down that you don't sneak downtown. Yeah, cause this nigga used to sneak downtown. I used to be like, oh, I feel like my mom's. I feel do this. But bitch, you used to be sneaking downtown, and I used to be watching people. I literally used to watch people Snapchat just because I knew this bitch was gonna be in the back. Like this nigga was like a compulsive fucking liar. Boy, that nigga used to do me dirty, boy. It was like 3 o'clock. Mind you, I didn't even realize, y'all, when I was sending these messages, it was fucking 3 o'clock. Downtown in at like 2, 2.30. No later than 3. Boy, this nigga used to... Woo. But let me get back to the story. So, yeah. um, Whoever the girl... Y'all heard me say I hear girls in the background. So, it was somebody answering the phone. And she's like, oh, yeah, he can't come to the phone. He don't want to come to the phone. Blah, 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 blah. Some bullshit. Woo, woo. I'm like, okay, cool. So me, me, and me, remember how I said I logged into his uh, his iCloud? So I'm, you know, I can see his wallet. I can see all of that. So I Apple paid me some money. And then I had, got paid that day too. So I had already had money. And I remember I said, nigga, wrecked my car. So I didn't have no wheels. But I had his, how did I get his location? I don't remember how I got his location, y'all. I don't know if, like I said, I had already went through his phone. I don't know if I had sent it to myself prior or if it had something to do with um, me being on his iCloud. I can't remember how I uh, got his location. But I had his location. So I'm like, okay, well, shit. We about to pull up. Like, we about to Uber there. Like, nigga, fuck my wheels up. I'm, been, I'm gonna pull up. This my other real. This my this my only other option. We gonna do what it gotta do. So, get in the Uber, pull up. Of course, the fucking the dots start moving. And I'm like, fuck. Like I'm already here waiting for this nigga ready to ready for whoever. And it's just fucking gone. So I had to call another Uber. They get there, and it's at some y'all. It's at some um. It was at some location in. No, I ain't gonna lie. The place that it was at, it was right next to a fucking hotel. So I'm thinking this bitch at the hotel. So I'm looking at the little dot and I put the shit in the Uber. And I'm thinking this shit oh at the hotel. When I tell y'all, I'm on the way there, legs shaking, got my fist balled up. I'm just sitting here, just like I'm going. I already knew. I ain't gonna lie. If he was, I'm gonna get to that. But y'all, I'm thinking this nigga at the hotel. So I'm like. Okay, cool. So we pull up. It's a strip club, right? It's a hotel next door, but we pull up. It's a strip club. I ain't never heard of this strip club before either. This shit was in um on, on Gandhi. This was on Gandhi. So I'm like, the fuck this if I see his car? So I'm like, okay, cool. So I see the car. So I get out and I get it. I pull. I walk up to the car. I'm like, what's up? So it's him and his cousin and some boy that he met. At this little job that he had, so I'm like, "What up? What it is? Like, why you not answering them? Why you ain't answering your phone? Who the who the most was in the background? It was a car next to him, full of a bunch of bitches. So I'm like, "That's who was talking. That's who was on the phone. Like, that's who. That, you feel me? Like, I'm asking everybody. I'm like, so what it is? Like, who that was talking to me? Because oh, don't be answering people. If you gonna answer, I ain't gonna lie. I know people out here answering bitches' phones. I ain't answering no nigga phone." And at the end of the day, if you do answer a nigga phone, bitch, don't answer when I motherfucking call. You can answer when any other any other whole call, but when I call that bitch, don't answer that motherfucking phone. I'm telling you, it's gonna be problems. But I'm asking everybody, I'm like, what it is? Like, what's up? Like, who who that was on the phone? Like, what what y'all trying to do? What it is? What it ain't? He like, oh, nigga, drunk as fuck, y'all. And then every time he drunk, he just be like belligerent, like. I don't even want to get into it. Like, if y'all know who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about, then you know, you know. I ain't even going because this story not even really about him. This is the backstory. We ain't even get to the fucking mission yet. But I'm like, um, damn, what the fuck? Oh, he like, oh yeah, you tripping? You this, you that? No, 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 you doing too? No, no, no. This wasn't even who answered my phone. 
um, this my, what he said, this my cousin, this my auntie, still my daughter, some, some fucking shit he said. I don't mean, I ain't, listen, I don't give a fuck who it was. I ain't say the bitch was your bitch. I asked who the fuck it was that answered this phone. Like, fuck. So, his cousin there, and I ain't gonna lie, me and his cousin used to be beefing hard. Like, his boy cousin, me and him used to be beefing hard. But, he was there, and he seen the nigga was just like, tripping. Like, he was like... You tripping. You need to go home. Come on, let's go home. Let's just go home. You tripping. You doing the most of the day. And I'm just like, exactly. Like, he, this nigga out here really fucking tripping. Like, this bitch was threatening me. I bet, like, do it then. Like, y'all know me. I'm going to do it. If you say you're going to do something, stand on that shit. So I'm like, do it then. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a whole oh, I get my cousin. I'm like, get her then. Get her. Like, she's sitting in the car next to me. And I'm basically standing outside the car. Because they, his car is parked next to theirs. And I'm standing in his car. And she's right there. I'm like, do it then. Get her. Like, come on. I don't think I know I ain't scary. Get the hoe. Tell the hoe. Get out the car and let's do it. Like, he's staying a little scene, little shit like that. Like, I'm supposed to be scared. Come on, huh? But I get in my ex's car and I take his cousin home. I ended up taking him all the way back home to St. Pete. And then I was on my way back to um, get the nigga. Because, you know, the nigga drunk and shit. He not finna drive or whatever. So I get back. This nigga walking out the club, out the strip club, with two girls. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I see the girl. I'm looking at the girl. I'm like, okay, that's my brother, baby mama. I ain't in the mood right now. I'm aggravated. I ain't finna speak to him out of the room. And at the same time, and at the same time, it's like, how the fuck you with my nigga anyway? I'm really thinking too much of it. Because, like, my brother, baby mama, she only 19. This girl big as hell. Feet big like a Sasquatch. Like, she big as shit. She ain't really ugly. She just, I, I just wasn't expecting that. Like, because this nigga, what, he was 26 at the time? No, it was, I said August. He was 25 at the time. This nigga 25, she 19. So I was thinking, no, no, then there's another the other bitch. And I seen her before. I think that's the sister. So I'm just, I wasn't even really, too I wasn't even really thinking too much about that. I'm just like, why the fuck you, like, come on, let's go. Like, why the fuck you in this club, whatever, the whoop, the whoop. Like, why y'all coming out together? Like, y'all know each other or something. I, 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 like, I don't know. I wasn't really, like, too much, really giving too much thought on it. But I'm just like, man, what the fuck? So, I'm like, okay, come on, let's go. Like, it's 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, the fuck are we out here for? The fuck, fuck y'all got going on? You can't drive. I got to take you to the house. So, come on, let's go. Like, what you doing? What is this? So, he just drunk and saying shit. And I'm just like... And he, I see him keep standing by her car and shit. So I'm at, so I'm, I see, I don't know, every time I just, every time I look, I'm like, so I'm like, why are y'all been sitting by this bitch car? Like, I'm like, at the world, I'm like, you know her or something? I'm like, what y'all got going on? I asked him, I said, I both him, I said, what y'all got going on? He's like, oh, nothing, nothing, no, we don't have nothing going on. And he's like, man, man, you tripping, I don't know what you talking about, this, 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 this. And I, and the whole time me asking, I look, he felt dumb for asking that, because I'm like, Okay, that's my that's my brother, baby mama. Like, not thinking that she owed. I honestly, real shit though, not thinking that she owed me no loyalty or nothing. But y'all, I don't know. Like back then, I really was had this mindset where like I really thought that like people would not do me like that. So I'm just like, I kind of felt kind of dumb when I asked that. So I'm just like, so uh, that's how basically the whole little backstory. Um, I ain't even gonna continue the rest of that story because this com this fucking story time is not about that. So I had them be arguing with him, not arguing, but I had them been like going back and forth with him for a couple days. And at this point, he was just like, he was responding, y'all, but he was responding so slow. And I just wanted my clothes. Like, he usually would always wa wash my clothes for me. So he had my clothes next one. I was just like, you know what? I don't need to do nothing for me. It's cool. It's straight. Like, just give me my shit and you can go do whatever the fuck that you had going on today. Like, I don't care. Like, just bury my stuff. So, I don't have no other reason to talk to you. Like, you don't have nothing to mine. I don't have nothing to yours. Like, this is the last little tie that I even should be conversating with you about. Like, just give me my shit and it's cool. Like, it's whatever, y'all. Y'all know where this nigga was at and why he wasn't answering the phone? This nigga was at my brother, baby, mama house. And uh, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was... I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was mad. I was irritated. Like I'm like, this bitch is trifling as fuck. 
Like, I ain't even saying nothing to the girl then. I swear I didn't. I didn't say shit to the girl then. I just was telling her, like, like you trifling. You weird. You a... Like, I'm like, girl. After all, I was just like, whatever. But as I'm calling this nigga to bring me my shit, he not answering the phone, so it's pissing me off. So I decided to get on Facebook. And this whole old Facebook making status. And I'm like, so now I'm getting irritated because now I'm like, okay. You sitting here doing the most about this nigga that you just met, what, yesterday? I don't even know if it was two days, y'all. It might have been the next day. But you all on Facebook going all out about this nigga that you just met yesterday. And whole time, it's like, if me and you ever get into it, and bitch, I'm finna whoop your ass, he not about to help you. He not. So I never understood why females would meet a nigga and then start, like, doing the most and going turt by the fucking nigga. When that nigga real bitch get on your ass, he's not going to help you. He is not. So I get on Facebook, this whole posting little shit just for me to see it. Just because she, she, now she, she feeling herself and she, I don't know what the fuck he does. I know he done boosted her head up. But now he done boosted her shit up and she doing the most and all of this commotion. So I'm going to post the shit that she was posting on the screen too. Like she would post like a picture of like his phone on the charger and then I gotta go back and screenshot the other stuff. But she would make like a status like, oh, well, he's not a smoker, but he'll smoke for you. Little shit like that. And this bitch gonna post something like, oh, y'all crybabies. Like, 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 little shit. So I'm just like, imagine y'all, I'm still calm. Like, I didn't call me. I didn't say nothing. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm still chilling. I'm still calm because I know what type of person I am. So I'm like, all right, I ain't gonna, you know what? I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna let that shit slide. So I'm just like, Whatever. So, um, time go by. And when I tell y'all, I call this nigga all day long for my clothes. Like, all you have to do is give me my fucking clothes. Like, you sitting over here, you laid up. I'm never. I'm not telling you you need to leave. You need to be over there with her. I'm just asking you for my shit. Then I'm telling you, okay, well, I got my own transportation. I'll come get them just, like, where they at? Like, he's just not answering my questions and it making me mad. So, now, at this point, I feel like, okay, now I feel like you're... You're holding my shit hostage and you keeping them either to be spiteful or you, so you can still have a reason to talk to me. Bitch, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to. You feel me? I ain't, I, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't trying to do that with you. I just want my shit, nigga. So, I'm calling him, I'm calling him. So, as I, um, I think it was around like, it wasn't that late, y'all. So, I think it was around like 8 something. I called him and she answered again from the room I said she was answering the last night the other night. oh I didn't even tell you that that was her from the other night that was um that piece of the phone was like, oh he's sleeping on the phone with so she answers and I'm like yeah so what is nigga at put him on the phone like tell him I need my shit not arguing with her or nothing y'all like I just, right now I'm to the point where okay if you want the nigga have him cuz I know what the fuck coming with him I know what the fuck this shit is gonna be so I'm not even mad at this point so I'm like if you want the nigga have him y'all her and her friends or her sisters or whatever, they was in the background just like, y'all doing the most, like basically like antagonizing me. And I, I already said, like I already said before to y'all, I don't like for people to play in my face. Like, don't play in my fucking face, bro. So they on the phone just antagonizing me, like just fucking with me, like just talking shit. Talking shit, y'all. And I feel like he was talking shit because he, I feel like he said something like, oh, she can't come, she can't pull up. So they, these hoes don't have the impression that, I ain't got no wheels. I ain't got no transportation. So I'm finna talk my shit. And ho, you can't do nothing about it. So these hoes was talking shit. I was like, I was at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Where y'all at? Like, just just send me the low. Like, I never once yelled at them on the phone. I didn't argue with them not once. Like, y'all, I swear to God. And they was on there just a kiki laughing, did it, this. And he in the background, kiki laughing. I'm like, cool, cool. Like, I was literally just like, cool. So they in there, kiki laughing with them. I'm like, what's your low? Drop your low. Send me your location. Whole time I already know in the bitch low because like I said, this is my brother, baby mama. Whole time I already know the low. I'm just trying to make sure that they're there. So I'm like, yo, so what's your low? What's your low? Whole time I already got the bitch in the fucking low. Like this whole forgot she gave me her address multiple times. This is my brother, baby mama. I done pick my nephew up. I done drop my nephew off. I done sold his whole lash. Like, ho, I know where you lay your head. I'm just trying to make sure that you bitches is there. So you know, you know, of course they didn't say that what they low is. Like you hoes not on that so today you know they didn't say the location so i'm just like okay cool i can let them keep talking their shit talking their shit and i'm like all right cool ate on my friend 
ain't gonna tell me. I ain't gonna tell me. But y'all, I hit up my friend. I'm like, hey, what you doing? What you want? They're like, oh, nothing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I need you to run me somewhere real quick. So she's like, okay, cool. So as she said, she on the weather, she said she's coming from Largo. So that's, you all know, that's like a little, you know, that's like a little drive, a little, little 15, 20, depending on how you drive me. So I got time to get my little shit together. So y'all, as she on her way, this me, I'm in this bitch gathering fucking um, Lysol, hand sanitizer, bleach, Kanye pepper, fucking, what the fuck else was in there? I can't remember what all I was putting in there, but y'all, I was making me some homemade mess. Yes, the fuck I was. I was putting anything that I feel like was going to burn your eyes, fucking chemical, any chemicals, any, just, I was making me some homemade mess. I got my little backpack. I had my mace in it. Bitch, I had me hammer in that hole. I had some gloves. <laughs> I had some gloves. I had an exacto knife. Um, what the fuck else? I feel like that was all I had. I had like a mask. I had like I put on like my hoodie, you know, tie that hole up. All black. Bitch, you know I had to put on the what shoes was I wearing? I think I was wearing my fucking um I was either wearing them one Nikes or I was wearing my, uh, damn, what the fuck them shoes? No, my New Balances. I can't remember which one of those shoes I was wearing, but, you know, I had to put on my tennis shoes. You know, your girl was, your girl was prepared. So my friend pull up. We get in the car. I'm telling her the whole rundown. She like, nah, bitch. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah we finna handle that. So I'm like, all right, cool. So. Oh, girl, living on um, fucking Clearwater. So, you know, like I said, that's like a, about a 25, 30 minute drive. We get to Clearwater. I'm like, okay, that house go right there. So, we we went across, we went around the neighborhood a couple times. And I'm like, okay, they go to the house. So, we scoping that bitch out. We looking, we driving past slow. We looking, we like this. We like, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I see his car. And I see like the garage open. Oh, man, I see like just people just out there. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we've been, the, like I said, we've been the block maybe like two or three times just to scope. So we've been the block the third time and we parked like down the street on the side of the road type shit. And it was like a lot of trees and little shit out there. So we get out the car and we best go like stand up under one of the trees like where they can't see us. Like we can still see the house, but it's like, like this the house. Wait, okay, this the front of the house. And we like down the road under the tree, like right here. If y'all can see that distance. Like we like right there, we can see them and they can't see us. So, we um we up under the trees looking, like, you know, I ain't finna just run up up there. I want to see, like, what everybody at, what everybody do, what everybody on. So, we up under the trees, we looking. And at this point, I didn't see nobody outside. So, we walk up to his car, open the gas tank. We pouring, this fucking bitch done poured the fucking homemade mace in the fucking gas can. And it's supposed to be the nigga I. But, she poured the mace in his gas tank and i was flattened tires i was i flat three i think i did I, I think i flat three out of four times i know i flat three out of four times because that's how you supposed to do it but i flat three out of four tires with the exact amount and y'all i wanted to bust the windows but i'm like you know what i can't even be doing that over here so i was like i can't do that over here i can't do that over here so after we did that we go back up under the tree and then I see, like, one of the girls. Y'all, I've seen three girls. And I know it was three girls on the phone, too. It was multiple girls. It was the baby mama. I guess her sister. And I guess in the friend or some shit. I don't know what the fuck that was. But I see two out of three of the girls. And I don't see this nigga. But I'm just like, okay. So, my first, y'all, my first plan was I'm going to knock on the door. Because, like I said, that's my, my, that's literally my brother, baby mama. Like, that's my nephew, mama. And my first plan was I was finna knock on the door, but like, hey, tell her mama, like, hey, can you, can you tell such and such, come outside. Finna have her come outside, and I'm finna whoop that whole ass. That was my first plan. But I'm like, I really can't really do that. So I'm like, I can't really do that. I ain't gonna do that. So once I seen somebody come outside and they walk to the car, because all the cars were parked, like, in the road, I'm like, okay, I need to definitely get her in the road. So... I see somebody walk outside to the car and then they in the road. I ain't, I'm not seeing who it is, but like I said, it was three girls. They all was talking shit on the phone. I really wanted the baby mama, but it's like, hey. So, 
see somebody standing in the road. It's two of them. Matter of fact, it was two out of three, like I said, that was standing in the road. So maybe me, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take my ass up there. So I walk from under the tree. I'm walking down the road, walking up to her. Like I said, I got my hoodie on, my black, my shoes, all that. So I'm walking up to the I'm walking up to the girl. And this whole waves at me. Like, I don't know if she was drunk, she was high. Honestly, y'all, I think the girl was high. Like, they were saying that she did drugs and stuff. So I really think she was like a crackhead or some shit. I ain't gonna say she was a crackhead, but y'all, she was she was high as fuck. So I walk up to her. This bitch waves at me. Hi, type of shit. And bitch, I wave back at her and I just meet, hit that hole on her shit. Then I just start meet, 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 meet. Like, just start whooping this girl ass. And then the other friend or the sister or whatever, and she ended up, y'all, after being her, she's like, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? So she, I'm like, oh, shut up, bitch. You had all that fucking mouth. The only like you know who the fuck I am. So then he got the sister. She's like, oh, my God, what's going on? What are you doing? And I look at the sister. I'm like, oh, yeah, ho, you were talking shit, too. So I'm walking up to the sister like, bitch, you're next. So she's like, no, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I'm not, no, bitch, you finna fight. So this girl goes to, like I said, we was in the road. This girl goes to running through the yard. She's like right behind her. She go running through the yard, runs up the fucking, um, what is it called? The driveway and into the, <laughs> and into the garage and into the house. I was really chasing this bitch. That's how you know I was mad as fuck. Like my adrenaline was running. Like, cause why the fuck would you do that? Why would you chase that fucking girl like that? Like, is you fucking for real? The shit just had me so fucking mad because y'all, these hoes was really talking shit to me. Like, they was really talking shit to me. That shit made me mad as shit. I got right behind a girl in the garage on my way in her house. I heard this hoe say, such a, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say no name. But I heard this hoe tell my brother, baby mama, um, get the gun, get the gun. I'm like, get the gun. So now I'm, in, I'm like, oh wait, I came to my senses then. And I turn my ass around and I go hauling ass down that fucking, um, I go home and that fucking job work. And I'm like, get the gun. The gun? Nah, we not about to do that. So I run down the sidewalk. Hit this whole go. Nah, don't run now. Don't run now. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't running from you, bitch. I was running from the fucking gun, bitch. Put that bitch down and it's up. Like, the fuck you hoes talking about, bitch. I wasn't running from you. I'm like, put that shit down and meet me in the road. I was just tell her, meet me in the road. Meet me in the road. I'm like, tell your sister come outside. Tell your sister come outside. And tell your sister come outside. Like, they just talking. Who, who, who is about on And I'm just saying the same thing. Tell your sister meet me outside. Tell your sister come outside. Like, that's all the fuck I want to know. And he come this nigga coming outside. Oh, what you doing? Why you doing over there? You crazy as fuck. Why are you this man? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Because this is your motherfucking fault. All you had to do was bring me my motherfucking clothes. That was it. That was it. That was all. That was all the fuck you had to do. And I'm telling him, I don't even want to talk to you right now. I don't even want to talk to you. Go get that bitch. Tell her come outside. Tell her come outside. Like, that's all I can say. Like, tell her come outside. So then they, the one that I already had beat up and the one that I chased, they come to the end of the road, I guess, with their brother or whoever. And they all trying to talk it out. Like, oh, she doesn't want to come outside. So blah, 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 blah. And then the little one like, yeah, I didn't even do nothing. You hit me. I was like, oh, you wasn't even talking shit. I hit you because you was talking shit. You were guilty by association. You should have shut the fuck up. I just kept telling her, like, you should have shut the fuck up. Like, you don't know what me and her had going on or what me and this thing got going on. Like, you didn't know nothing about nothing. You shouldn't have been running your mouth and I want to hit you. Like, you should have mind your fucking business. So she was mad as fuck because she bleeding and all of this other shit. And I'm just like, this nigga talking. I ain't trying to hear shit he's saying. The brother talking. I ain't trying to hear shit he's saying. I'm just like, hey, yo, tell your sister to come outside. Like, tell her to come outside. I didn't even want to hit the little one, the 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 the, the, the little skinny little crackhead one. I didn't even want to hit her. I wanted the sister. Like, I didn't I didn't want to chase the other girl either. I just wanted the sister. But y'all, I was so mad at the time. I just hit whoever was in sight first. And it was should have been talking shit any in the motherfuck ways. Y'all whole should have minded y'all business. So. I'm like, go get the sister, go get the sister. The sister didn't want to come outside. She never once came outside. I don't know if she looked through the window. I don't know if she nothing. The whole never did shit. So, after a while, the nigga, my ex, he's just sitting there still talking about, you crazy as fuck, you just said this, you just said And I'm just like, I'm like, friend, hand me the maid. So, as he in the middle, in the middle of him talking, I just opened up my little homemade maid and I just 
threw that bitch in his face and just ran away and we just went home after that and y'all on the way home why the fuck the baby mama my brother baby mama called me she called my phone basically talking shit like what do you want to fight for you know and i'm just like bro like don't call my shit hoes for real like especially while, while i was just outside before i got to your house you were talking so much shit to me i got to your house you did not want to come outside I honestly, it didn't even nothing else with you no more. Like, the shit done it over with. I don't even really give a fuck no more. Like, you showed me what type of time you're on. You showed me you scary as fuck. Like, don't say shit about me on Facebook no more. Or no slick shots no more. Don't call me no more. Don't say shit else to me. Because when I wanted to tap that ass, you didn't want to come the fuck outside. Like, that shit done for. Like, I'm one of those type of people where if somebody got so much beef or whatever it may be. Or just like, whatever the fuck is going on in... Depending on the situation, like, okay, like, let's say you got beef, whatever, and I see you out, and you don't do shit, you don't say shit, especially when you the one was, like, egging this shit on, like, starting this shit up, bitch, I would no longer, like, you, you look, you being little sis, but bitch, you real deal little sis to me now, like, bitch, that shit is over, like, whatever beef that you got, you, you had, you might as well squash that shit daddy ho, cause you see me out, and you didn't do something, you ain't do nothing, now you fried, and then for situations like this ho, I call you out, or whatever case it be, I'm cutting your shit and I call you out. And you was talking shit prior and you don't wanna fight. You dead, like you fried, you're fried as fuck. That shit is over with. Now can I see what type of person you is you scary as fuck? I'm not finna I ain't no bully, I ain't gonna be fucking with you or nothing. They should just, like don't say shit else to me now. Like mm -mm, Nah nah. Dead, dead flies. So yeah, she ended up calling me or whatever, and I'm like, what the fuck wrong with this bitch? So after the fact, I was asking him where my stuff was at. He kept saying, oh, they at his mom's house and he was washing them. And then he had to wait because other people was using the washer or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, it's been like two days. Like, I'm like, this is like two days prior. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? They at his mom's house. I bitch, I go to his mom's house. Um, I look in her motherfucking washing machine because it's outside in like the little garage. Not the garage, it's like a little storage thing, some shit. So I go outside, I'm looking at his mama washing machine, don't see it. It's like, they got like a lot of bullshit and shit on the porch, so I'm looking at the bullshit. I see baskets and stuff, but none of it had my stuff in it. So I'm like, what the fuck? So as I'm walking away, she like, oh, what you doing here? No, Matt, y'all, matter of fact, I text her before I even popped up. I said, hey, such and such bought my stuff over there, claiming he was going to wash it, but I don't need him to anymore. Is it okay? If I come get it. I said, it's probably outside, but I just wanted to ask before I went all in your yard. Like, y'all, I was respectful. I text the fucking lady first. She didn't text back. So, yeah, I get there. I'm like, fuck it. So, I get there and I go look myself. I don't see it. I'm getting ready to walk away. She's like, what you doing here? I'm like, I was just looking for my clothes. She's like, I don't know. I don't come over here with all of that. And I'm like, come over here with all of what? Like, I text you before I can. All I want is my shit. I'm not here to fight with you. I'm not here to fight with your son. I know your son not here. I just got done fucking mason blinding the nigga. I'm like, I didn't come over here to, for no on, on no bullshit. Like, I'm looking for my shit. What the fuck? So, yeah, I was mad by that part. Because I'm like, I text you respectfully. Let you. I asked you, can I come get my stuff? Like, type shit. Like, I didn't just pop into your shit. And she's so petty. Like, she don't like me for whatever the fuck reason. So she so petty. She seen the text. She ignored it. So and then when I, when I come and I come get it, now you now you outside like what you doing? What you got going on? You know why the fuck I'm here? If you would have text back, we wouldn't even be like, come on now. So that shit pissed me off all over again because I'm like, fuck, like you and your son are like fucking. Oh, I ain't even. Oh, I ain't even. I ain't even get into that. But. So I'm steady asking and this, and I'm asking the nigga, I'm like, I'm like, nigga, I just left your mama, just, the shit not there. This is when he said they was always at the washer. I left it at the washer. This and this. So I'm like, okay, so what washer did you leave my clothes at? Like, now I'm at the point, I'm like, okay, at this point, this nigga just lingering my shit on just to, like, it has to be to have a fucking reason to talk to me or something like, why I can't tell me where the fuck the shit at? Like, just give me my shit and I will leave you alone. Like, come on now. So then he started getting mad and he blacked out. He found out his tires was flat the next day, y'all. Then he was really mad. He was like, I'm throwing your shit away. Fuck you. This nigga did blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, nigga, where my clothes at? Y'all, the whole time the fucking clothes was in the fucking nigga trunk. The whole fucking time. So while I'm over there busting, I mean, flattening nigga tires, the shit, the, sh the shit in the fucking trunk. But it's like, I was just there and you knew what I wanted. 
I mean, I know I did mace him, but he knew what the fuck it was. Why didn't you just give me my shit while I was there? And then why are you holding my shit hostage for two, three days, laid up over here with the next bitch, with my shit in the trunk, lying to me, telling my son, oh, yeah, I done watched it. I'm watching it. I'm waiting for the job. Like, just all of these fucking lies. Like, that shit is weird as fuck. Everybody always trying to make it like I was a damn problem. But, yeah, that's pretty much the fucking whole rundown of that little mission that we had going on, like, Man, that shit was so fucking funny. Like, after the fact, I'm thinking about it. That shit was so funny. But, y'all, I hope you like this video. I'm coming out with another one real soon, too. I already got my receipts. Because, right? you know, I don't, I don't want to tell no story without no receipts. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share it to a friend. You know, all that. And if anybody who I talk about in this story... If you know it's about you, I don't give a fuck. Hit by it. The fuck? Because a couple of y'all, I ain't get to touch. Anyway. A little bit update for after um, the little story. Because I kind of left this part out, y'all. So, I ended up getting my stuff back maybe like two days after that. No, he did not wash it. I ended up washing my own shit. Like, I was trying to do any fucking way for y'all. I was still talking to this nigga. Oh, oh, I was still talking to him. Oh, That's besides the point. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.